Now I'm on a video making spree tonight because catching up. Uh, still on the mend. Whatever. This fucking gear just needs to go. I said that about last year. <laughs> 2020 is topped last year as far as shittiness. Even, and it's, it's just begun practically. All right. So I know people are getting stressed and tired of the whole COVID thing, but this is COVID adjacent. And I had to talk about it. Uh, actually, there's two of them. Um, that'll be the next short video coming up. Um, so there's a show, a horrible, awful show that's, you know, plagued the world much like coronavirus has called Big Brother, you know, where 12 people who think they're interesting and are really not uh, live in a house and do stupid games like dressing up as a chicken or remembering who used to fart in the bathroom on Tuesday and did buzz in and get some money and all plot and scheme against each other in order to win $100,000. And somehow this has taken off. It used to be a thing where it was like, when it first started out a long, long time ago, where it was like people from all walks of life, like literally. There wasn't like, you know, all white people and like one or two black people. There wasn't like that shit. You know, they should just call it what it is now. Like, hi, right, welcome to the new season of 10 white people, uh, two gay guys, and one token black person. I don't know. We're going to interchange some of them because we can't have too many of them. <laughs> but whatever. So it's all over the world in different countries and blah, blah, blah. So in Canada, this year's Big Brother, Big Brother 8 Canada, happened to fall during when this whole uh, COVID thing was. I'm not sure when exactly their season started. I think it might have been about January or February, but before it became a big deal, right? So I've been getting like little clips because I watch some reality television because I love a fucking shit show. I just love it. And so, you know, YouTube starts thinking I like everything YouTube, uh, reality related. I loathe Big Brother. I never watch Big Brother. I hate that. I hate Julie Dead-Eyed Chen, who hosts ours. Hi, contestants. Welcome to Celebrity Big Brother. Today, I'm your host, Julie Chen, until I got fired because my husband likes to stick his icky wicky in everything and chase women around the office like it's 1950 or Mad Men or some shit. I should forget, well, how fucking dead in the eyes is she? Anyway, so, um, Big Brother 8 started when this whole thing happened, and the first clip I ever saw was they tell the house guests, so they have a producer come on, it's like, house guests, house guests, gather into the living room, and the house guests all think it's like, you know, oh, we're going to have a game, or somebody's getting in trouble for something, they all sit around, and then the announcer drops, and a woman comes over, it's like, hi, house guests, this is the producer, bad news, Brenda. And everybody's like, hi, Brenda. And they're all sitting there, you know, kind of like, eh, everything's still okay. Watch watch these clips, Big Brother 8. Just watch them. Big Brother 8 finds out about COVID. Watch this. And um, there's like a buff lumberjack looking dude. There's a, a Islamic dude. There's like a, a bunch of like interchangeable white girls and one vaguely Asian chick. I can't make her out. And a big butch lesbian. Um, nothing against it, just what it is. So they're all sitting there. And she's like, house guests, I have some news from the outside world. And everybody right away knows some shit's gone down. Because the last time shit like that ever happens on a show where, like, a producer comes on and tells you, like, from Big Brother, a place where you're sequestered, shit has hit the fan. Real world, back in the day, when they weren't allowed to know shit, they weren't allowed to, you know, read papers, have TV, or anything like that. They told them about 9-11, and shit got fucking real, real fast. Although they couldn't have hid that from them that long. But, so, the big one living room said, As you know, before you went to the house... To be greedy, backstab each other, forget about all the important things in life like family and all that. There was a pandemic starting called, I mean, there was an illness starting called uh, the coronavirus. It has now spread across the world. Everybody's eyes are getting wider and wider. This chick, this producer is evil, but I love her. Because she's, she's, she knows the power she has in that moment and she's using it. She's taking long pauses and everything like that. She does this. From country to country, it's gotten worse. Lots of cases. Babies crying in the street. God, the carnage. No, she's not saying that, but she's, you know, kind of. She's like, at this point, it's become an official pandemic. Places like Italy, people are dying rapidly. And this girl starts figuring out, it's like, my parents are in Italy. Oh my God. We have talked to your parents. Now, she doesn't do it all in one sentence. She does go, we talked to your parents, everything's okay. She goes, um, whatever her name was, Jill. We have talked to your parents. From the afterlife, they're dead. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they're fine they're sequestered they will be okay then she does this number uh they're like oh god and then somebody else goes oh what about my family they're not even in fucking italy what are you fucking whining about they're like everybody we've talked to all of your relatives they're fine we will keep you updated as if we know everything is going on 
Okay, so that was the first clip I ever got from that. And they're all freaking out, crying and everything like that. But then back to backstabbing and calling each other names because fuck it, who cares? So then I got another clip about a couple days later. We're the same group. House guests, please come to the living room. Get off the, ch put the chicken suits away. Stop covering yourself in syrup for this contest we make up because we're secretly masturbating to it and come to the living room. They all come back in the living room. Then the evil producer lady comes on again. She's like, house guests, it's me, Bad News Brenda. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, you can just see at this point they want to pee. Every time they hear from Brenda, Brenda is bringing bad shit to them. She's like, like they're already twitching and shit, and their eyes are already holding. They start locking hands. See if I'm lying. As soon as Brenda comes out, they start grabbing each other's hands like, <laughs> the earth's falling apart outside. The last time I talked to you, I not only told you my recipe for double sphere chocolate cake, and none of you seem to appreciate it because I didn't see anybody taking notes. That's okay. Be selfish. I tried to be something. I tried to do something good. Pass on old, my grandma's old recipe, and none of you bastards seem to care. Greedy fucks. Anyway, the pandemic has now spread. The Prime Minister of Canada is monitoring the situation. Non-essential businesses might be closing, but they're not sure yet. And the first question one of the dudes asks is, uh, are any sports teams going to be playing? That's the first question I would ask. If I'd just been sequestered and heard there's a pandemic, I'd be like, how many people are dead? How serious is this? Are there any sports teams playing? You can even hear bad news Brenda was annoyed. She's like, I swear I heard her go, fuck at this one. Why do you make me talk to these idiots? They're idiots because they're here. Okay. No, all major sporting events have been canceled. Then everybody goes, whoa, whoa, because now shit's gotten real. Shit, that there's no baseball or basketball. You're fucked. Bring out the tablets. It's the end of times. <laughs> Just start weeping. <laughs> Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. Oh, God, there's no sports. But they're leaving it alone for now, right? They're like, we're going to still monitor the situation. Um, peace and donuts to you. I don't know. Get the fuck out of here. So then comes this. Sh I knew this was going to be a shit show. I got another clip a couple days later where I found out they were shutting production down on Big Brother 8, which means none of their asses was getting $100,000 because they were all going the fuck home and they didn't know it. Oh, I wish I could tune into Big Brother Canada. I don't have cable TV and I'm not Canadian, but fuck it. And I knew YouTube would do me good because Big Brother Canada would put that clip up and sure as shit they did and go watch it. All right. Oh. So bad news, Brenda. Comes back on. Now, first off, they started off, well, you can tell right away, they're already into bullshit. Like, they're not showing them just, like, sitting around the house, having a good day. Like, right away, there's white chick talking to a black dude. She's like, you know, other people need to start feeling the heat, too. Okay, other people need to start feeling the heat, too, okay? Not just going to be anybody else. Other people can start feeling the heat, too. And it's just, I think they're just getting their titties in an uproar about something. All of a sudden, house guests, come to the living room. <laughs> what? What? What now? What the fuck? Did the earth blow open? Are we all going to burn in lava like any minute? Not like So they all drag themselves to the fucking living room. House guests, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. Now, here's the point where I could have not have been that lady because I would have fucked with them beyond belief. It's bad. It's really bad, yo. Listen, um, COVID has spread. Everyone, most of the population is dead. <gasps> what? what? Let's sh shut up, shut up. Calm the fuck down, calm the fuck down. Listen, we, you guys are lucky you're in isolation right now. You're all safe, so we are going to leave you here. We're going to leave canned goods. The army has barricaded us. They have barricaded the studio, so even the cameraman and me, myself, Bad News Brenda, cannot get out of here. We're going to need you to do exactly what we said. I'd be flicking the lights out, be like, okay, they might cut the power every now and then. They're doing that to see if they get some power started. It's, it's, it's chaos in the street. I'm not saying it's a zombie apocalypse, but I did see a dead dog kind of look up at me snarl and drop his head again i don't know what's happening um families you don't have any anymore i would have just fucked with them beyond belief just to where they were in a nervous ball of piss and shit on the floor but honestly she goes um i'm sorry the government of canada the prime minister says this is no time for half measures he says now that we must close all non-essential businesses for sure like on the for real tip got it for real for real though he's he ain't playing this ain't no bullshit and as such, we are closing down production of Big Brother 8. <gasps> uh, what? This is crazy! Really? Was it that crazy? You didn't think it was kind of coming? Like, really? You didn't think it was like, at all coming? Like, they're updated. There's a pandemic. Shit's getting really bad. Sports is not even being played anymore. Remember, there's big shocker sports, but whatever. Like, 
And then this is what drove everybody crazier for some reason. I'm just telling you what happened. So she does all this, and one girl's like, ah! and she's crying, and the guys are like holding hands, probably trying to jerk each other off. And one girl's just like, she, there's always one girl who does this. What? What? Oh my God. What? This is insane. This is insane. Is that insane or is it insane? This is crazy. This is wild. They always have to focus on that one girl. She knows she's getting the camera time. Just don't let that bitch fool you. So then they go, um, and by the way, we are getting all your things. We're arranging your travel for home tomorrow. Home tomorrow. So you all know you're going home tomorrow. So enjoy your last night in the big brother house. Everyone loses their shit at that point. Because at that point, they know they're going home. Did you not just hear the bitch say that she arranged your travel? Did you, you didn't get that at all. Not, not, oh, well, fuck it. I don't know. Okay. Peace out and good night. And it's been real. And, you know, God save the queen and all that shit. Hang up, and they just start boohooing and crying and sobbing and blah 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 blah. I thought it was funny. I'm sorry, I watched it over and over again while I was hacking up along, but I loved it. And uh, the only good thing about it is that they did end up giving, and I know these greedy fucks had burned their ass because they had to act like they liked this shit. Why is this zooming in and out? I just know it's in and out. All right. They had to act like they liked this shit. But what was really going on was that the prize money, I think they thought they were all going to get split or something like that. The lady had one more dig. She's like, house guests? Uh, she's probably wondering what's going on with the prize money. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Nobody's winning. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We decided what to do with it. We're giving it all to Corona Relief Charity. Because nobody can look like a dick, right? They're all like, what the? Oh, that's nice. Yay. We've made a difference. Fucking bitch. You, fucking, you can tell they wanted to get, but they're all aware they're on camera. They're not that stupid. Yeah, that's what should be done. Give it to the dying and the ill, not our narcissistic asses. No. Yay. 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 I just thought I'd share it because I thought it was kind of funny. Go check out the clips. Tell me what you guys think. <sighs>